Good morning and welcome to today's Real Football Chess for News videos. We have got all the latest gossip and done deals here. We are into August and that means Chess for Windows quickie bump times is fast approaching. Will Cristiano Ronaldo get his move away from Manchester United? Where is Frankie de Jong heading? And will Chelsea sign anyone more? Stay us throughout this video as we bring you the answers. Come on bros, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the real football products and start to go with us now. Ronaldo sort my future out now. Cristiano Ronaldo reportedly won his Manchester United future resolve before the start of the new Premier League season. But with the Red Devils getting their new campaign underway against Brighton on Sunday, the TTC Van Giro is running out of time. Ronaldo is still eager to leave United despite returning to training last week. And he wants to be out the door before Ten Hag and Co. officially kick off the campaign on Sunday. That's according to Spanish outlet AS, who say Ronaldo is eager for a change of scenery as soon as possible. Ronaldo is desperate to continue playing in the Champions League, leave the trophy for the sixth time of his career. His agent, Jock Mendes, has held talk with numerous clubs across Europe in recent weeks without any success as of yet. Mendes is claimed to be doing all he can to try and engineer a move for Ronaldo. The likes of Chelsea, Bayern Munich and Napoli are all thought to have decided against launching a bid for the superstar forward. Man United and Chelsea target Sesco would cost £45 million. RB Salzburg's right starlet Benjamin Sesco would reportedly cost £45 million amid links to Manchester United, Chelsea and Newcastle. 442 says the Slovenia star 19 has told his Austrian club he wants to move in this transfer window. And iSports suggests Salzburg would stand firm over the valuation. Sesco netted 11 club goals last term, and he's notched two goals in 11 international. Man City and Chelsea for Govadia. Manchester City had reportedly had a £67 million bid rejected for Chelsea target Josco Govadia. It's understood Thomas Tuchel Blues have been in talks with over swapping the RB Leipzig live back for Bundesliga Giants former striker Timo Werner. And German outlet Bill claimed Chelsea are considering making an offer to the Croatia star. 20. The main stumbling block to Gvardian moving is his reputation at Leipzig is untouchable. But Bill says City have now made the first official approach for the 10 cap ace who can also play in the midfield of defense. Red Devils ask Baxa about this. Manchester United has asked Baxa about USA wingback Sergino Des, reports to Night Claim, and Old Trafford ship Eric Ten Hag's hope of a reunion with his former Ajax hero could be boosted if Barca side Chelsea Cesar Bilgueta in the same position. That's a claim from Spot, who suggests Des was caught around £80 million. Earlier, reports stated that Barca won more than £21 million for a player who still has three years of his five-year deal remaining. Forces snub £40 million Madison bid. Newcastle are reportedly had the second bid for James Madison at just over £40 million swiftly knocked back by Leicester. Eddie House is desperate to bring the England international to St. James Park, with the mouthpiece having an opening offer of £40 million rejected over the weekend, and they have been quick to make an improved offer with Skyspot stating it was worth just over £40 million, but the bid was deemed as far as too low to accept by the forces who valued the €25 Euro at around £60 million. It has been said that the two are now debating whether to return to go for a third time or if they should pursue their other targets. Leicester boss Brent Rogers said, you don't want to lose your best player and then not be able to bring any in that doesn't stack up. Lucas Torreira is on the brink of joining Galatasaray. The Arsenal midfielder, long expected sale, will fetch around £7.5 million, including add ons. The Express Ryan Taylor revealed this afternoon that the Uruguay star was chatting to Istanbul for medical. The 26 year old had been at the Emirates since 2018 but spent the last two seasons on loan at Atletico Madrid then Fiorentina. It's understood Rira has rejected Syria moves in favor of Turkish giant Galatasaray. Sevilla in Teles talks. Manchester United are reportedly in talks with Sevilla over a potential deal for Alex Teles. The left back had been linked with a move away following the arrival of Tyrone Malaysia earlier this summer, 
and discussion between United and Sevilla are ongoing, according to Fabrizio Romano. Reports yesterday suggested Sevilla are one of three clubs interested in Tellez. The La Liga outfit believed to be leading the race to sign a 29-year-old Brazilian. Tellez originally joined the Red Devils from Porto in 2020 after scoring 26 goals in 194 games for the Portuguese Giants. Fulham in for Bahia Fulham had reportedly submitted a bid for the our favorite Manchester United defender Eric Bailly, but faced a fight with Sevilla and Roma. The newly promoted Premier League club are looking for reinforcement at the back of the head new season. The progress defense has contributed to each of the last two regulations from top flight, and boss Marco Silva is desperate to stop history repeating itself. Bailly is one of the number of defenders the club have been linked to. And they have now reportedly made an official move for him. Sevilla and Roma are also both chasing Bailly. Depe could be released by Barca. Barcelona and Memphis Depe are in negotiations for the exit from the club this summer. Depe faced deep competition in attack after a busy transfer window at Camp Nou and is reportedly happy to leave the club. Barcelona have put enough for sale and have been hoping to generate 20 million euros for his service. However, Romano claims discussions are now taking place to reach an agreement on free agency. He adds, the players who are set to leave Barca only in case he will find the right option for his future. Memphis Depay will only consider top clubs. Jota signs new Liverpool deal. They didn't hang around. Reports of talks between Liverpool and Diogo Jota on a contract extension barely surfaced before an agreement was announced. Now, the deals will reportedly keep Jota at the club until 2027. Jota said he was really proud at getting his future tied up. What a signing he has been. West Ham considering second bid for Onana. Futbolkato said the news that West Ham considering launching a second bid for Lille midfielder Amaru Onana. The 20-year-old Belgian was one of the stars of Lille's previous campaign, and his plays clearly caught the attention of David Moyes. Wood's club had made the first offer of £90 million earlier in the window, which was rejected by the League One club. At last, the young latest, summit meeting due soon between player and Barca. Sport had the latest on Frankie de Jong's situation, with the player in Barcelona likely to meet soon for a summit to trash out the midfielder's future once and for all. Eric Ten Hag is reported to have spoken to his former charge, who could be keen on the move to United before the issue hits and paid wages for the bloke runner, who deferred his salary last season. Sport maintained that all scenarios are possible with Chelsea also looking. Thanks for following. We'll be back tomorrow with more transfer news, gossip, and done deals.